have three, so that's a quorum, so we can start our meeting at 7.05. Um, all present tonight, Boda Paw President, Greg Rodder's here, Alan Maves is here, present. Courtney is not here, Dave Mextroth is also not here. So without the agenda that I left at home, is there anything from the minutes from last week that anybody needs to bring up, fix? Everything looks good according to what I'm reading in front of me. Can we, if, if it's if it's all right, can, yeah. can you can entertain a motion to approve the minutes? I'm, I was the acting secretary, so I can't really shouldn't vote on it. I would. I'll suck it. But I think you should read it through first. <laughs> well, I did already. Okay. That's a nice All part. Right. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes are approved from last meeting. As I stated before, I did not get a chance to go home, so agenda items are gonna be a shoot from the hip tonight, as far as I can remember. First thing um, we were talking about, I had a discussion, something come up about restrooms for the grant. The bids for the restrooms at the grant. Bob, you had some concerns. Did you, something you would like well, to we, add? We, we don't have any bids. We don't have any bids. All we have now are the we estimates. Have a partial bid from M and M. Okay. But that only uh, covers your plumbing. It doesn't cover the the drywall or you know the press box, any of that stuff. Okay. Now I did. I haven't looked at it yet. I got one bid which was late from a local guy, <coughs> which is over a hundred thousand. Okay. Um. And and the three bathrooms total. I think it was around 50, I sent them to you, about yeah. 55. Yeah, it was, the one was like 17, the other one was 15 somewhere, and the other so third one was like 15. it's just like everything else that's happened, like we thought the river steps were going to, somebody estimated the river steps at 22, they came in there at over 70. Well, that all changed when you started to have to get permits and everything else that had to be pulled well, and actually done. actually the, the clay pipes is what right. got us, but in any event, um, no, but here's my question. With all, all the additional um, costs of materials, it's just killing everybody. So my only concern is, you know, we've already, I think, Doug, we've already started on some of the other items for the grant. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So we already we saved $20,000 just in bleachers. I'm sorry? We got an extra $20,000 just from bleachers. Bleachers they price came in at twenty below. grand less than yeah, what we yeah, did but, before. But what I'm saying is, we only got a hundred grand to work with. I understand, so but that's my point. You probably want to set your priorities. My only thing, I would recommend that we just—you're not going to be able to get the work done until spring. I don't think, Doug. Do you? Uh, some of it we will be getting done this spring. This fall. This fall. Yeah. Like the fence no, I'm will talking go about up. the bathrooms and the field house. Oh, probably not. I mean, so, so what I'm saying is, you might want to consider. We can go back to Builders Exchange. I can put it on the web. I can send it to Builders Exchange, and then you guys decide what date you want that accomplished by. So you can say uh, must be completed by June 30th or May 31st, and I think you're going to get a lot more bids because the people that did call me that were interested all said we're filled up for the year when can we do this in spring can we do this in spring and I said I can't say that right now because I'm not on the Parks Commission well fair enough and that's also a question is everybody's calling you about the bids um, maybe we need to get that because I haven't heard anything but what you sent me from Eminem Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything about any other bids coming in or anybody else that was interested no, they're in the just job. Calling, asking yeah. 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 for information, and I'm just okay. like, boom. And uh, the one I got late this evening, which was over 100 i I'll, I'll send it to you when I get a chance. No, that's fine. And that was for everything. That was for the outside of the yeah. building, the roof, all the free, inside, all, all the stuff. Correct. Okay. Now, um, I do have Mr. Foster. 
Okay. Uh, Frank Foster is doing our um, cemetery building. Okay. And God bless him, he's doing it at cost. Okay. Uh, to help out the township. So I said, hey, look, you know, we really need some help. Could you give the Parks Commission a bid? And he's going to come out Monday or Tuesday, and uh, Doug and I, well, Doug will take care of it. But uh, Well, that was my question, is before you said that you wanted to hire a general contractor to handle everything. Well, I, I'm just saying. It, you would it, prefer that it, approach. It, but if we go that approach, that's what eats up all that extra money, mm -hmm. because he's taking a cut off the top. Sure he is, but by the same token, it also depends on what subs he's using. Fair. So, for, for example, uh, the, on the river steps, yep. there was a $40,000 spread. Okay. 40000 That's a lot of money. And Some people bid high just because, oh, if I get it, I get it. I understand. So, my yeah. suggestion is... If Doug, if you agree that the work's not going to get done by spring anyway, we just you know try it again. Yeah, no, we're going to have to get more bids to get a better idea of where we're going to be at. And I understand, especially with some of the stuff that we wanted to get done, we also have Little League that got a certain amount of money from a grant as well, who's dumping that in to match, kind of trying to piggyback with us so we can accomplish some of the same goals, because we're in the same place. I know that for sure. I wish Courtney was here, because she has a little more detail on that. Um, but... As far as m and being the only one that's given a bid out so fast, I haven't even talked to the three other plumbers that I know that would do it, that are licensed and insured and everything else. So it's I, I guess my suggestion would be see if we can get a GC to handle it. If not, then you're going you're gonna to have to piecemeal it. Well, that's, yeah, I think, no offense, I think we're going to be better off and cheaper if we piecemeal it, especially if we go to a general, not that I... I know a couple, I could probably get one that might donate it, but where does he write it off at? Does he write it off to the Township Parks? Does he write it off to the Little League, coming from the Little League side to help? I don't know. That's my thing that I'm looking at. But I do know a couple other companies that we can get a hold of to get some other bids coming in so that we got a little bit of a, maybe Good. kind of start a little bit of a fight to see who wants to do the job. Might help us out. And the bit. other issue you have, if I read, Doug, jump in here if I'm wrong, um, there has to be some internal work done before we can let the plumbers in, right? Some of the walls got to be taken out. Oh, well, the or, floor is going to have to be cut up and stuff right. like that. Yeah, and, and then you're going to have to have them come back after the plumbers are done, right? Do a little fit. Are you talking about yeah, drywall, it's, it's not, masonry? It's not. Yeah, I mean, what you're talking about isn't that much. I mean, it's not like we're. Yeah. And you do have to remember, is you do have Little League as well that does a lot of volunteer work. You know, yeah. So some of the time when the plumbers were to get most of that stuff done, I'm sure between Little League and a few people that I know, we can get some things accomplished oh, yeah, on the volunteer end without whatever a problem. Whatever you all decide to do, because this is yeah. ARPA money. Yeah. Okay, uh, Doug's seen it. I've already had this discussion with Doug. There's a file in my office. Doug knows where it is. Okay. Um, and, and we'll talk about this tomorrow when we meet about this, but... Um, because it's uh, an ARPA grant, we need anything over five thousand. Yes. Uh, we, it, we only need quotes between five and twenty-five, but we got to have them in the file. Yep. Right. Then okay. I got to write a purchase order. I'm willing to do that um, uh, to cover us if it's over five grand. Um, okay. We give to them, then we get the invoice. If it's over twenty-five. Yep. Right. We got to have a contract. Correct. Yeah, that takes the place of the purchase. Order. I I totally understand. And then, uh, you know, we save that. I think it's required for us to save that for three years. Okay. So what, whatever you decide to do, even if you just go plumbing only. Um, well, and that'll be that'll be some of it. We'll have to look. I'll have to get a little more involved in the exact breakdown of what we need. And then I I know a lot of guys in the business and a little different areas. Now between. you can go sole source. Yep. If we can prove that we put it up for advertisement yes. for X amount of time. Correct. So if we're going to do plumbing only, I would recommend that we just put that on the web for two weeks, yeah. send it to Builders Exchange, yep. and then if m and the only one, that's okay. Right, and that's kind of what I think we're going to end up having to do. No problem. I think we're going to, like you were concerned with the amount of money, and that's what I was trying to say. We did 
somehow managed to come in with bleachers at 20,000 less than what we thought we were going to have yeah, to I spend. Got, got so we on. should be able to, we have to make sure the money all stays in the same place so it's all going to go in, but we should be able to add in and maybe cover some of those extra costs that you were looking at for the building, for the drywall, for some of the other things to get finished on the outside. Because I know field one, the concession stand there, it's in rough shape. I mean, the, it doesn't matter what we do. The squirrels chew right through the roof. Literally, there's a hole this big. And they just eat right through it. And then they, they live the upstairs for the winter, and we go clean it up every <laughs> we'll put year. The popcorn outside. Hey, there ain't nothing up there. That's the part you don't get. They Nothing's in there. there. That's where they but live. they go in there and live for the winter. It's nice. There's no snow. There's no rain. And... Every year we go up and I have to clean and, out and, and some of the other fears, thing I'm so. concerned about, well, you know, I'm all big on infrastructure. So, you know, uh, the last fiscal year, I, I took some of my building and grounds money and we spent maybe five or $6,000 on gravel for parks. Yep. Yep. But, Doug, if I'm not mistaken, we still need a lot of work in Cooperation Park, right? Well, right. he's got some of that money already put in there. We got five grand already set up for doing some of that driveway. Uh, talk about the road. Yeah, for Cooperation yeah, Park. Yeah, for Cooperation Park. I yes. He already has part of that set up through a bid to get done through the grant, mm -hmm. but that's also where we might be able to send some of that other money that we saved on bleachers is we've got a little extra we can dump some more into making sure that the road holds up a little bit better. Well, what I'm, I'm getting to yeah. is that it appears to me that you're going to be very close, if not over 100000 So if you run out of funding... Right. Um, I still have a little bit of money in my uh, roads and bridges budget okay. because Club Road came in 25000 under. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we went way over on the river steps. Yep, yep. Uh, so but, I can even out some of that and help a little bit there, uh, too. So, so. Well, if, and don't if, forget, we still got 66000 sitting around if we need to help finish up a few projects as well. Correct. That's parks money that would be used to help finish things up if we're yeah, running a little That's short. also your emergency fund. So yeah, I, I understand. I'd like to see. You I'd like to see it get bigger, but we're working on that part too. <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is, I'd like to see you use my money if it's available yep. first. By mine, I mean my call yes. center money. Yep. Before you dip into your emergency fund. No, I just want you to. Your, your access to that cash is discretionary on your part. You don't have to ask the board. I, I'm in charge of that call center. Okay. Yes. So, like I said, and, unless it's a capital improvement, if it's a major capital okay. improvement, I got to get board approval. If it's not already on the list. Okay. Okay. Um, so you talked earlier about uh, the plumbing alone. Do you guys feel like you want to do that as a package, or do you want to do plumbing alone? Ooh, I think out? I think we're going to have to. In my opinion, we're going to have to section some of those out if we just do plumbing alone. And you even can't get the bids. Well, and the thing is, even well, with just no, doing you the let plumbing, it out, though, like like you were saying, and nobody else bids except M and M, then then, there is. then we're good. Yep. So yeah. My, my yeah. point is. We have to let the bids out, right? Yes. Okay. So, we have to so put you guys can decide what to do. Tell me. I'll write it up. I'll get it on the web. I'll get it to Builders Exchange. Just, just let me know what you want. Yep. No. I, I, I just, I, I would just want to make the motion that we act in the way that's recommended by uh, Bob. Bob to let plumbing only bid out. I'd second a motion to get some bids out for plumbing only. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I okay. We'll do how long? Two weeks? Three? Yeah. I mean, we got. We're not going to do anything this year. Yeah, we, not, I, yeah, we got know. time. Yeah. We three usually weeks. hear in a couple of weeks, but it's up to you. Whatever you want. I would like to leave it up there a little bit longer than two okay. weeks. I think we're going to be better off if we could let it go a little bit longer. Because, like you're saying, I know the same thing. I know a ton of guys, but they're all swamped. Three right. days. Just tell yeah. me what you want. So I, I would probably let it go for at least a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People okay. are starting to need work. No, they are, but they're just starting. They're starting. To just work. starting. Yeah. It's. And then um, we need to figure out a completion time on the general bids, and I, I'm looking. I think in what Bob was suggesting, I don't know if that's going to interfere with uh, Little League or, or ballpark use. Well. Um, but if we say the May, late May. Mid June, I don't first know. First of June would be nice if we could get completed by the first of June. It'd that be would great be great nice. if we could get. But what's what's reality? That's what I'm. Reality. Yeah. Um, reality is they can't work in their own winter. They can. 
Especially okay. with the plumbing, you can Those work all day long. Those buildings are so small, we can throw a whole electric heater in there and flip the switch, and they got power. There right go. They're working. That is the truth. Like I would like to have things done <clears throat> by May first. I mean, because right. at least we're halfway through Little League at that point. Beginning part of May, Middle League usually starts somewhere in wow, April. Say spring completion, exact time negotiable. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd set a date because I would because if I'm making a bid. And I've got my crews working, and I'm, I'm thinking about okay. You got to so, schedule it. Yeah, I got I got to calendar that in. Okay. Or I have that. So, so I would I would try for a May first completion. May first sounds good to me. Okay. That would get us in and out before summer, yep. before everybody else comes up. I write the RFP. You look it over for me. Make sure I'm not missing nothing on the plumbing. Yep. Okay. And what else do we? Okay, now. Good if we're just, talking about said, this, we need a motion and and a. And a I so vote. move. That we that set a May 1st completion okay. date. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, with that being said, what else is on the list to get done at, let's say, Fieldhouse 1? One was, okay, one reside. Yep. The top half. Okay. Painting. On the bottom the walls half. walls inside. Yep. With hardboard. Were we doing anything on the roof? Roof was pretty good, other than that little roof out in front of the concession that somebody yeah. put on with some hangers yeah. that should have came down by itself. A long time ago. <laughs> A long time ago. We were going to upgrade that and okay. fix it correctly. I would like to look in, if we have extra funds, steel. Doing steel Double. roof and steel on the upper half. Yep. That would prevent any critters from mm -hmm. chewing through. Um, mm -hmm. It would last a little bit longer. It would require less paint in the future. I mean, unless you were going to be thinking about vinyl siding on the top half, I doubted it. I, so I think it was going back to T. It was just back to T one eleven. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, if we got a little extra money, I would think we could put steel on that and save us in the long run a right. lot better off. Um, what else was on that for Fieldhouse one? It was just the inside bathrooms. A little bit of pave, walls right. on the inside. Was there anything getting done in the kitchen in that area? The only thing we had talked about was possibly upgrading the electrical a little bit. Correct. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we did want to do that. You so that. we'll need to get an electrical bid because that'll be separate from everything <clears throat> else. My guess is they'll have to turn it off, pull a panel, or shut it off. So we'll probably have to pull a permit for that well, job. It's under five grand. We have two preferred vendors in town. Okay. So. No, I agree. I'm just saying we're probably going to have to pull a permit. I don't know what, how that's going to work out. Who pulls that? Um, this hell happens that I know because I'm having it done Wednesday. Okay. Um, the electrician calls, sets everything up. Okay. Has that all done. All They're right. going to come in the morning. The power company, they're going to pull my meter out. He's going to do all the work on the house. They're going to come back at the end of the day, Plug put the meter in. back in, do the inspection, and he's done enough. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I forgot something. Yeah. We, let's say we end up with just plumbing only bids. Yep. Are we going to go out with bids for the other then? That's yes. my point. We need to start looking at bids for the electrician. We need to start bidding out for siding in the roof. If we're going to shut so this down and not have a general contractor, then we need to put out bids for every part of it. Okay. That's the that's. So we're going to need plumbing bid and then the rest all other. Well, your plumbing bid's going to be one. We're going to need probably an electrical somebody to come in and take a look at the electrical and see what we need to upgrade. That I can get done with a friend stopping over. One of our preferred customers or users would probably come out and take a look and tell us what we need. Right. Whether it be white pines or who else do you use? Uh, you've got Tanner. Tanner. Is that the other one and the preferred? You've got white pines, I know he does a lot of. Tanner and white pines are the two preferred. Yep. Okay, so I'm sure one of those two would come out and take a look and see if there's something. I bet you field one's probably going to need an updated box because it's pretty small. Yep. And there ain't much room for it. And if we're going to put in a couple extra plugs or switches or anything like that, I don't know. I do not believe there's a GFI in the building. That was going to be. Oh, there yeah. isn't. You got to meet code. Yeah. Duh. But if we're going to upgrade, we got to meet code. Right. So that's. So that's do you know if yeah. you have. Do you have 100 amps or more out there? Oh, not. 
thinking that's probably a hundred amp server. I don't even but think it is. I don't even. I'm afraid it's eighty. Okay if it's eighty, we got a problem. Well, and that's what I said. We got to have somebody come and take a look. If yeah. we're going to split these things down, because I agree, in general, is going to be tough. All of them that I know have got so many jobs right now they can't finish anything. So we're better off if we break it down. We'll get more done and cheaper. Um, so we need to get an electrician out to take a look at that. Can Doug, you want to give somebody a call this week, or you want me to make a phone call on that? For the electrical? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see Jeff this week. He's okay. In my house, so. All right. So Jeff can make a conversation. He knows that. I know he does. He's done a lot of work at the field. He's hooked up all of our stuff. So yeah. it's easier both. So we're here. just exploring? What are we yes. Doing with the electrical, we're going to do an exploration and see what's recommended. What's needed. Right. Yeah. See if Doug's what already got him stopping by, so it's not much for him motion or anything. We'll just let Doug kind of handle that a little bit. Right. We'll just see what he thinks we need. Yeah, what about the steel on the roof? You no, know, the steel on the roof, we could put, we're going to have to put a bid together for that. We'll have to get somebody to come out, I would suggest, for the roof and the siding to be steel. Um... So we definitely need to put a bid out for that. What else should we include in that? Uh, what What about the gentleman's company that was the low bidder that did all of that for this building? He's out of Wolverine. We could ask him. Well, and that's, he has a look. But. Well, and that's just it, too. I can throw the numbers together for a bid and get an estimate of what we're looking at before we put out a bid for it. I, that won't take much. I can go with tape measure real quick, pull a couple of numbers and get an idea of where we're at and if it's feasible, really. I mean, because we're talking steel's gone up quite a bit lately. I mean, I just went and did some. I just got done doing get ups to the whole inside of that. So, I mean, we did 18 feet on the one wall by 17 feet sheets. And then we did 16 feet on the other wall. So with 32 feet, that was over 1200 bucks just in the sheets. And that was plain Jane white thin because it was vertical indoor, not roof grade, not anything like that. So it's going to be a little more expensive than what we thought. But if we can chew up some of that extra 20 that we had, we got to use it somewhere. This, I think, would be a much needed upgrade. Oh, yes, yes. So the game plan would be... Right now, like tomorrow, yep. uh, we start on the plumbing bids, yep. and then by next meeting, we'll decide yes. what other bids we We'll decide what other bids we need to send out. We'll have a better game plan of what we're looking to get exactly accomplished. I, I got a real good relationship now with the lady at Builders Exchange <laughs> that's posted yeah. all of that. Good. And, you know, once I see it on Builders Exchange, I can do screenshots and I'll put it in the audit file. Okay. Um, so what needs to be done so that covers field house one right. what needs to be done back at field four field three and field four the other field house you do basically new fixtures new fixtures and hot water and hot water which hot water is already run and they plumbed it Did years it and years ago bought a hot water heater but they never bought a hot water heater and the pipes have all remained capped okay so all right they could just hook it up hook it up so we're looking for a hot water heater to go in that field house. Right. And we just need bathrooms need to be redone there too. Yes, correct. We're so do that's new fixtures in there as well. Does the floor need to be coming up out of there? Plumbing fixed? Nope. The drains work there. Okay. Does everything out there works? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's okay. just that the everything is really really outdated. No, no, and, I understand. Yeah. No, the but on all of these, I'm requesting power flush toilets. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it makes my life much it, easier. It makes everybody's <laughs> life easier. Yes, just, right. just <laughs> don't know what happens when everybody goes to a baseball field. But yes, that's exactly. <laughs> so the are, um, they're amazing. Uh, I can't believe yeah. that they do what they do. Okay, so that one shouldn't be that bad. No, and in mine. The roof if doesn't need to, to be. The roof doesn't need to be bad on that one either. Two, three, or four. That's just. No, it's just. Yep, everything's good there. Yep, we paint. We'll probably paint it's the all floors, brick, paint the so, walls. Yep. Okay. Make it look good. Yours. Mine, we gotta build a roof. Okay. Basically that's it. Do it inside or outside? Inside. Okay. We're gonna just use part of the shop and then when I was talking with uh Danielle. Because we'll yours is the expensive one because you need a drain field put in too. Right. Five thousand dollars for the field. Yep. Bank. Yep. And so then 
Huh? That's cheap. Who's doing that? Bridgewater. That's why. Right. But you, you, you gotta remember too. If it, it's, <laughs> it's just one toilet for a shop, so you yeah, get, I know. it's a That's tiny field. Yeah, it doesn't. Big. It's not <laughs> huge. It's not. <laughs> right. It's still a good price. But you're still getting running water with that. Right. Well, hot water yep. heaters going in out there too. So what okay. we're gonna do is we're gonna build up a south floor. Yeah. So we don't have to. Cut into the concrete. Oh, okay. We got plenty of room in the ceiling, yep. so you can just put just a one inch. Some, yeah. just, you'll step up into the bathroom. A Perfect. Bit. Yep. Okay. But yeah, and that's just a cheap sink. And what toilet. else do you need back there in your place? Yeah, you want to start right there. <laughs> uh, uh, windows and eye wash and I mean, to get compliant, you'd be taking forever. You would be able to do it. Your eye wash station, you don't have one. Right. That should be on there. So it should a full rinse shower because we have chemicals in there. Oh, but right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I would say at a minimum, you got to have the eye wash. No, no, no. Because I, it's our money. Like I said, those are things that <laughs> well, we got that extra 20 grand. We need to start. Right. And, but these are also things that have been put off that should have been done a long time ago. Right. It's We're playing catch up. A right. Bit here. Um, Okay. Is there anything else? Anybody else has to add for agenda items that would like to get discussed tonight? Huh? <laughs> Veterans Pier. Where are we at on Veterans Pier? Bob, uh, where are we at on Veterans Pier? He's the, the brick is sitting there. Okay. Yep, it's um, been there. <laughs> he. Uh, uh, Mike, Who's doing it? Mike's doing Mike it. Mike got okay. it. He's yep. up there. He's going to do it. Yep. He's hoping to move there pretty soon from, from the steps. Steps. Be able to go over there. So they may have to do some other things in between, but he's going to watch to get to it before winter. So he'll have it done before frost hits. Yes. That's where he's at. Okay. Yeah, Anybody? No, that's nice. You got some paperwork for me <laughs> on him, right? Um, I have a quote from him that we. Yep. Yeah. So I can do the purchase order. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else with Veterans Pier, Bob? I'm going to put that on the next agenda because that's a capital improvement project. Okay. So I got to get, and that's not on our list now. Okay. So I'll put it on the list. That way you can go into the general fund, use that money, okay. and pay it back. Okay. And then we have, once that wall gets finished, then we've got to tackle the project of replacing all the, the bricks, bricks and yeah. everything else. Oh. So that'll probably be a springtime deal for replacing. We need to put some serious thought into that and talk about that. What we're going to use to replace? Well, or when we're going to do it? They're, they're telling, I mean, we're looking at what, close to $10,000 in bricks right now? Nine to 10. Uh, and the, then, bad, the bad news is. The good news is... No, 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 you started I with the bad news. Let's go. Bad news first. I showed, I showed first. you that new brick. Yeah. Oh, no, I yeah. showed David that new brick with, with the, the harder surface. Yep. So that raises our price to $1.40 a brick. From? The problem, uh, from $1.20. Okay. The, the prop, excuse me. Um, the problem is, uh, even if I can get somebody to do it cheap, it's thirty dollars to engrave a four by eight brick, and double that. Uh, but I think I could get it maybe to sixty for an eight by eight. Well, I went out there and counted the bricks, the big bricks alone. Yeah. There's 175 big bricks. There's a hundred a, a like amount of small bricks, and if you had to do even half of those again. Right. So what do we have for funds for this project? Well, you have 16000 in your entire account. For Veterans Pier. For Veterans Pier. Okay. And what, 11 to 12 of that's going to be eaten up on the wall? Yeah. Okay. So we're left with about five grand left over to buy a bunch of bricks that we can't afford right now. Correct. And then the other thing with those bricks is those bricks, even the newer ones, the guy's saying... 10 eight, years maximum? Yeah, uh, 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Okay, how much are we charging a brick? <clears throat> if anybody comes to get a bit, brick, they want to buy a new brick, it's, how it's much? It's 50 bucks for a small one and 100 bucks for a big one. Well, you might want to change that price. 
Well, that's up to you guys. I, well, I'm just, okay, I sure, but I'm looking at, and we so, have to be able to, if when they buy one brick, right. we have to be able to pay for two. That's the way I'm looking at this because we got to be able to replace it in 10 years. Right. If we we've got a 10 year shelf life, <laughs> if we've got a 10 year shelf life on bricks. Now you can extend that, he told us, uh, by uh, every two years, a light power wash and a um, sealant. A sealant. Right. So every two years, we got to go out there, power wash everything off and seal it, which is not, that's what, a weekend, two days? Yeah, you can do it very quickly. Well, yeah, right, but, but still, it cost effective, it's still a cost Right, well. It, yeah. Extend it, it for two years. Anybody have any other ideas on how to? I do. What do you got? Get a sheet of the 4x8 granite slabs that they get. Yeah. You can get some of them that are polished seconds, or you could even get a polished one, and then put uh, brass tanks mounted on that inside of a very nice wooden. To replace the post, bricks that are ruined. Like a wall down there that pretty much mimics what's there, but then when they're gone, they're, they're gone. gone. Uh, you know, I mean, you're putting your money into something that's a little more. You're gonna get your you're gonna get your name put on this plaque, basically, right. or a larger instead of so that way when your brick wears off, your name is still it's here. still up there. You're getting your thing, but they're not gonna be on because we just can't control the. Well, I understand the erosion and everything right. else. Great idea, just the upkeep to it's gonna kill us in the long run as far as funding wise. It's gonna keep being a thorn in the side. Yeah, I don't mind the idea that you're coming up with, so maybe we have We need to talk else. it out a bit. I, I like that. that rather I mean, than replacing the bricks every eight to ten years. Well, and yeah, if somebody buys a brick, yeah, we can go in and put a brick in or whatever, but like you're saying, you also get a little brass name tag that goes up and gets... Well, added. at this point, you wouldn't do any more bricks. you just do the tag. Yeah, it would do just, the tag. Your name would go on there. Yeah. Right, and then the bricks would just stay there until they... They're gone. No longer said anything, and it's an attractive feature in the period. So we would move all the present names that we already have. Everything would get moved up, and then anything new would just get added to yes. that. So instead of basically buying bricks so to put it to buy, you would be buying your name on the tag. I think I got, yeah. Towards what are your feelings off, about something like that? Back, Sorry. What are your feelings about something like that? I think... I wouldn't want to be in your position to do that because the community, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, someone's going to be upset. Yeah, I can't, okay, I can't make everybody happy, but if yeah, I'm asking you a so, personal, so my suggestion as a is, service member, how would you feel if your name was no longer on a brick and we had to move it up and put it on a plaque? I don't know, I'd be dead, so I wouldn't care. But, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I would just say, how would Nancy feel? <laughs> I would just say, you might, if, if that's what you want to do, I would float a trial balloon, and uh, we could talk to the VFW uh, a little bit, and the American Legion. Yeah. Because if you can get their support, then you're good. Yeah, no, I... Because okay. most of the bricks out there, not all, but a lot of the bricks are veterans. So I'm going to make a motion to entertain new ideas for Veterans Pier. As far as a memorial other than bricks. Well, let, let, let's do this instead. I, I mean, My wording's why, terrible. Why don't, we, so. why don't we keep... We, we've got two other board members that are not here today. Yeah. This is not... A problem that's going to go away overnight. Correct. Um, and there may be other solutions Ideas. that are outside our yes. thought process here. So why don't we just we're going to put it, it down for discussion. Nice we're going to have it in the minutes. That'll come up again. Okay. Yep. So no, let's not that. let's not let it ride and eventually go into the trash can. But let's keep looking at this thing and 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 coming up with the, what we. And, and I like, I like input from the veterans organizations. Yes. Yes. Um, they might have a better idea too. We don't know. We don't know. So let's um, let's see what we can do. 
and just not you know just keep just hold the door open yeah it's a discussion uh you don't want a motion yet i don't think we're just no my more motion listening. would be to entertain something from vfw or I, I, I think if, if uh, we ask somebody to uh, are you a member of the vfw bob no okay anybody here that's a VFW uh, I, I, No, but I know quite okay. a few. I know all the VFW guys and the American Legion guys. I can. Okay. So, you know, why don't you... I'd say, you know, you know, help us too. I'd yeah, say I maybe the next meeting yeah. we could have a couple of them show up and kind of run some ideas for some well, of Well, I would guys. suggest you kind of get what you want to do first. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of there. there. I mean, we've yeah, got, I we've we're, got yeah. either we, we have the bricks in place and we have this continuing obligation well, to, wall, or we do something along what Doug's is saying. And like I said, there might be some hybridized solution that we're not even looking at here. So let's, you know, let's get these people to have some input. Yeah, so if you decide, and, I no, no, I, I, a wall, no, I guess my thought addiction. more, more of a community thing. Yes. Okay. As opposed to, okay, this is what the parks decided to do and screw you. You know, that's yeah. not, that's not how we should go about yeah. this. This should be, a little more done. Yeah, and we have a problem with your solution. Correct. That's kind of what I would like. That's what I'm looking for. And, and I think just this, this keep the dialogue going. Yeah, well, that's all. Don't need yeah. Really right away. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. Most of action. action. We got time. We got money. Action here. Here. Once they get the wall built up, then we yeah. can do. But I do like the wall idea, especially because oh, you could. For, you know, I the think the wall needs to go. Well, I just. Right there at the end of the boardwalk. Kind of separates the beach from the other house that's right there on the other side where that little creek runs. We could run a wall right there along that edge, and you could still look and sit at the pier and still at the little pavilion there, and it would be there. It'd be nice, whatever you do, if it could be a little better protected from the elements. Well, then that's what I was thinking. I'd probably do a more longevity. I'd probably do a roof over it. You'd, you'd do kind of like a six by six wall come down one side on both sides we could do a sheltered little roof over it with maybe even some led lights or something like that it could be even be um solar paneled lights that would just shine down on it that way it's it's always there yep be a piece of cake i can well, see remember it. how they did the streetscape because i thought it was uh, you know it took them so long but they did it in my view the right way you know they had drawings for people to see oh yeah uh, they yeah. had then they had the, their community input night and yeah, that way at least you could say you everybody a guys got a chance grand of business, so. everybody got a chance okay anything else anybody else have any other agenda items or anything they'd like to discuss tonight I, I, the only thing the kayak launch thing uh -huh. if you want to talk to you, people we bought it from and see it I, I, you know this shouldn't be your fix but no no further investigation oh yes it's loose as hell yeah I think once it's a fix it's set the way it should be when I pushed it down and stood on it where it was supposed to be the roller in question was underwater did you take a kayak down there no. I just ask it no I took down <laughs> made him walk around down there <laughs> But we'll look it over when we pull it out. And then and, and I'd get their input on it too, just so that, you know, if, if the people that put it in there say, well, we got an issue here, fine. Right. You know, and it could just be that those spacers are wearing out over time. I, yeah. I don't know what kind of usage there is. Right. To me, it looked kind of like it was the dead thing sliding up and down right now. It's, it's kind of supposed to, that's the thing. It's, the kayak launch? No, yeah. no, the hinge. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. On the yep. back of the thing, the gotcha. bolts on the hinge are sliding, right. yeah. which changes the pivot point. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you're allowing that sharp edge to come up and take out the bottom. Right. Gotcha. If it was rigid, it would be holding that down underwater. Yeah. Okay. So maybe, maybe like I say, there's a fix. Right. When we take it apart, we'll see what's left. Yeah. I don't know if it's just. I'd have those guys the there at the same time if you could. You know. Right. Right after you and I got off the phone break from. Uh, um, Michigan Lake Products called and he went down there and he said he couldn't uh, uh, see what the problem was and um, uh, he just wants to meet somebody down there that can point out what he thinks his name is Craig yeah so you call Greg at Michigan Lake Greg. Products Greg he's, yeah he's the owner well no 
owner's son. Or did yeah. he buy it? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know pretty if it works or not anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. I think he, the old man's done. But, but and, and then, of course, the alternative. Craig Welsh is there. That's who you want to talk to, Doug. The alternative is to get Walter Dark down there to meet with him. Yeah, there you go. That might, that might yeah, solve Walt. it, too. Yeah, Walt's the one. Because he's the expert. Walt's the, the expert. <laughs> Uh, but he he said if there's anything wrong he can they can fix it. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I just wanted to bring up a possibility, okay. um, just something to think about. Had nothing that's going to take place immediately, but I'm thinking a uh, thought about putting uh, some hoops and backboards up in the pavilion. Underneath the underneath the roof and the ice rink. Right. Would that be, I love it, don't get me wrong, because the basketball court at Cooperation Park, we all know it needs to be redone. I, that's, yeah, that's already You could almost, happen. in there, you could almost put, it wouldn't have to be permanent. Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> what? Cable. Like, you remember? Yeah, just like your high school. The old ones that oh, Yep, just yes. oh, crank like them yes. up. Crank them up. Crank them up they the crank up to the ceiling yeah. out of the way. That's my point. I don't want anything. Yeah, I don't yeah. want permanent on the wall. No, no, no. 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 We were looking at something to have them centered so okay. you could swing them up out of the middle. Not a bad idea. Because if it happens, you, know, you put them down the in the spray, picture, take them back up in the. Busy. When, when winter comes. So. Well, that, a lot of people would be there for sure. I, I totally No, I mean, agree. I'm talking about events. In there. Yeah, no. To see events in well, there. we're working on different things. Yeah. We need to work on some of that for next year for sure. Um, like I say, Kelsey would still, from the library, and Kiwanis would like to use that for a family movie. Night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I it's as long as yeah. put the hoops are down. And, well, no, and like I'm saying, it's just a crank. You know, literally just crank it off. Yeah. But it's it's got to be user friendly if it's going to be a public right, use event. Right. So right. it's got to be something that everybody use. can let yeah. up. Well, the, the everybody movie thing up. Is, is pick up and go. Yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. yeah I like there might be squirrel oriented popcorn laying around. I mean, nobody, I mean, can't control that. I'd still like to. What's that? Oh, downtown. Yeah, we're. Um, I don't know if we want to get into that. Did right you guys now. have a? But okay, so yeah. Did you guys get together and no. have a lunch about the <laughs> no. sunshade oh, stuff? Okay. No. All right. Um, however, uh, and I, if you remember the women's club, you were there at the meeting. I correct me, okay? I'm just getting a second hand from from Mary. Yeah. Who was invited to come to our meeting, and she indicated that the ladies in the women's club were going kind of in a different direction than. Uh, putting up the shelter down there. Okay, yeah, so, they wanted to okay. do a little more of just yeah. like a winds or the sun well, or, or whatever. Or so we were, you know, we're thinking maybe a little more permanent, but they're into something else, which is fine. Yes. I mean, that's good. We we kind of dithered on this way too long. Yeah, and didn't come up with any kind of a solution. We were also talking at Kiwanis about uh, the potential for helping to um, replace some of the playground area equipment. And the things that are maybe a little outdated. Oh, I like the rock on those little ducks and things out there when I was a kid. Yeah, but they don't let you have those anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, stick your little we got told we can't there. have yeah, them stick anymore. Your fingers in there or something. But yeah. that's you know we're, yeah. we're we're kind of moving down that direction a little bit. So. Okay. Okay. I did have somebody from the women's club contact me after our last meeting. They wanted us to get them a number on what it would be for those sales. Oh, if they would communicate. I understand completely. Us, I don't. I just, somebody came to me and they said, and I told them, I said, I thought we were going to try and get a meeting together between them and Qantas and figure it all out. So I'll look into it a little bit, kind of run a number and see what it is for a new shade. Give them a rough estimate of where we'd be coming in price-wise on it. And then I'll swing it that way and kind of just shoot them a text and be like, here, this is kind of where we're at, and leave it up to them. If it's something they want to keep pursuing, because, like, it's been three years, two, three years now, yeah. they've been talking I, about it. I thought you guys had talked with Doug from Ventura already. I don't know. I wasn't part of that conversation. I, all right. I don't. I'll give you a I'm staying right. I didn't know. I just had somebody text <clears> me and ask me. The project right now is... 
You're doing right. flagging right. and banner yeah. replacement, yeah. right? With the helping a fund, Bird Lake Preservation is going to help fundraising. Okay. All right. Anything else from anybody on the board? Anybody out there have any comments or anything they'd like to talk it, it about? It would be helpful if somebody could give Craig, who's our Kiwanis president, some kind of an idea what some of this playground equipment might cost. Okay. Okay. If you, what type of equipment are you talking? No, you throw the stuff out there. Okay. Do it. Don't. All right. Yeah. I. We're not. As in what it is, you just okay. We're we're maybe <coughs> going to try to help out or do something. We're not saying you should take this. No, I understand. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Um. An example of I think maybe this something might have been a little misguided. The the train up at and some equipment by the elementary school up there. I, I think it was just kind of Kiwanis just kind of decided or did it in a, as a cooperative effort with the PTSO okay. uh, to put some of that stuff in there. And I'm thinking, you know what, we, we just kind of made assumptions yeah. without having input from the board. So I, that, that's not, you know, that's not how you do things. So yeah, it, no, should be, it should be everybody's understanding where we're going and what the goal is and what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's all. No, I'm with you 100%. Anybody in our audience? Pat? Oh, Pat. Please, name. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that. You need the address and phone? No. Okay. We know who you are and where you live. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't know about the second part. <laughs> you could push that closer. You don't have to leave that there either. Unless you got it already, you know. Dialed in. <laughs> Dialed in. Just make sure you have to move it back so it fits the Hello. schedule. Yes. My yes. name is Patrick McGinnis. As you may have heard by now, the Township Board got rid of the Tuscarora Township Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. That makes the Parks Commission nest up, and I'm sure Bob Kramer has his sights on you. But the Township Board interviewed two attorneys for the open position for Township Attorney. One of the questions that Bob asked both attorneys was about the Parks Commission and what he, Bob Kramer, to do about the Parks Commission. Bob is on the record for wanting a Department of Public Works. I believe that Bob is on a total power trip and does not care about the rule of law. To me, Bob seems to care only about Bob and his friends. Why else would two different law firms tell Tuscarora Township that they, the law firms, no longer wanted to do business with Tuscarora Township? We know the township has been running up some impressive legal costs, but maybe the liability was getting to be more than the law firms wanted to take on at this time. Bob and this township board has been investigated in the past and have a few more investigations coming in there in the near future. These actions are of both criminal and civil nature. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Does anybody have anything they'd like to add to that? No, or, or comments. <laughs> comments for that? Well, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong use of words there. Terminology is terrible. Um, anybody else in our audience have anything they'd like to bring up today? Please help yourself. Sign in. Yes, please. It makes my life nicer. Henry Herpel, and I would just like to suggest that you consider raising the launch fees at Marina Park. Okay. I think they're currently five dollars. They are. Um, six. 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 Okay. Um, I know for a fact that Indian River Marina is fifteen dollars. Um, you might even consider raising not only the daily fee but yearly fee. Yes. Uh, Burt Lake Marina is, I think, 240 or 250 a year. Um, 
I think that you could easily go to 15 or tw even $20 a day and maybe consider maybe like even $120 for a seasonal pass. Uh, I think it would help parks monetarily. And, uh, I got you. <laughs> oh, you got um, it. <laughs> so the only thing about the boat launch is the boat launch was done through a grant. So any money raised from the boat launch can only be used for the boat launch. So we could charge $25 for everybody to put their boat in, but that money would just go and sit in a fund for the day that we have to repair something at the boat launch. We have discussed and talked about raising the fees um, to cover the new price of certain things it costs if we were to have to do repairs. But that is the one part that of the boat launch that's kind of, we don't get any money from it. All of that money stays in-house for repairs sake because if that pad cracks and we got to report, all the money that we have from our boat launch fees is what we use to pay for that. The way that ARPA grant or the land and waters yeah, waterways, waterways yeah. grant that was used to procure that, we can raise our fees, but none of the money is going to come to parks for anything other than the boat launch. Okay, okay, and then then the grant specifically provides that the uh, DNR makes a determination of what you can charge. Correct. And so okay. we, I get Bob make an inquiry of the person that supposedly is our contact or liaison regarding that and she wasn't aware that that was part of <laughs> part of our restrictions okay and uh, I guess you're right is what her comment was <laughs> but, yes but we don't get a, a number back like this is your this is your ceiling okay so we they haven't yeah. given us an, they told us that we could raise it but they didn't tell us to how much, what we can't go past because it's all controlled. The answer hasn't come back very clear on where we can take it to. Okay. So I, I guess my observation is that we've got between now and probably mid-February, end of February, to make that decision. And we may have to do it in a, in a vacuum and just say, well, we'll do it and then let them complain about it. Sure. But without any input, and if you, even if we request input, we don't get it back. How can they complain about it? Right. You know. But on the other hand, we don't want to make it. You know, it, it, it's. I, I could see something happening down there that needs significant repair, and that's oh. being short. Right. So, so that's, well, that's, that's just it. Even yeah. if you did raise it to fifteen dollars a day. Yep. Yeah. That money is there yes. when the time comes. Right. Because yes. the time yeah. will come. Right. The time will come. Yes, okay. that's that's indefinitely with about how the fee was set at the boat launch and what the whole situation was. Okay. Yeah. That was my project. I was yeah, I was just project. looking at what the thing said. That's uh, on fees. So. Yeah, they told us that the heat, Bob did make an inquiry, and they did tell us that we could raise the fees, and that it should be relatively the same as the other boat launches around us, which would put us at fifteen to twenty dollars a day. Probably a hunt it would take from I forget what is it right now. 50 bucks for a yearly pass? I'm pretty, 45? I say, for a township member, a board member, I think it's only 35 bucks. But I'm with you. Like, if we got to start looking at, because right now, if you had to go buy concrete, steel, and all the stuff that built that, you're doubling what it costs us to build it right now. It's already double the price. So. One other question Would that money also be available to make improvements to? The new dockage area? The Is new, of kind of, sort of. Yeah, the new dockage rapids. area was written up on its own grant. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's on its own separate grant, but right. they kind of tie in together. Yeah. Uh, the big one that I was hoping for is that if we could raise our fees enough yeah. that eventually we could pay to put a bridge over the top so we could get rid of the tunnel. But I don't know if that's uh, something I wanted to bring up, but I was kind of waiting to see if that's a way we could go by raising our fees if we could use that for marina park because it's still in marina park but i don't know if it's exactly boat launch there's some terminology launch, and lawyer involvement yeah. i gotta figure yeah. out if that's yeah. even doable but well, with no, your no, no, no. kind of with what you were saying i kind of started thinking about that in the back door a little bit because okay. our overflow parking for the boat launch is marina park right we so, cannot yeah. remove that old bridge because there is no walkable path
from Marina Park back to the boat launch because the side of the bridge that goes over it on Old Onaway Road there does not have a walk path next to it. So you can't technically cross that bridge and walk over. So when they built it, they kind of, somebody wasn't, they missed that part. Nobody was thinking it through because they wanted to turn it into Marina Park. But as soon as they put the boat launch on the other side, it no longer take that bridge out. So it kind of, I've been trying to figure out ways that we could move the, the overflow parking to the other side of the river. There's no room over there for it either. It's kind of a catch-22 because I would really like Marina Park to be more than just a parking lot. Parking, parking lot. lot. Parking lot. Yeah, but sounds like a bridge over troubled water. Oh, it <laughs> does, doesn't oh, it? <laughs> but it makes good money. But man, I wish yeah. I was here when they were doing it because township missed on it two years ago or last year too when they redid that bridge we could have thrown extra money in to get a walk bridge next to it but nobody wanted to do that yeah, so we'd have to ask and, no that's it our township we could have paid the extra we wanted to raise, them to raise the bridge just a little bit and that few. too but yeah. then again we'd have had to raise a little extra <laughs> so anything else for anybody sally's else? sally's at the podium sally Sorry. My name is Sally Snyder, and I do know something about the boat launch since that was <laughs> Marina's Park project when I was chairman of Marina Park. So, um, Marina Park was done with a waterways grant with matching funds from a Parks Millage. Correct. And at the time, there was great hue and cry because if the taxpayer was going to pay for the boat launch, why should they pay to launch? Correct. And so we talked about it a lot, decided that that was a bad trend to start, but the accommodation would be low launch fees. And that's how we got, it started out as $5 and it's gone to six. Yes. Um, that way the residents are still getting a benefit because if they go to any of the other launches, it's going to cost them considerably more money. And so they had a good investment when they passed the park launch. And we couldn't have done Marina Park and the boat Green launch. Dock and the boat launch if it wasn't for the millage. So that's how we got where we are. And I would caution you to be a little careful because there are a lot of residents that are very sensitive to it, they still think it should be free to residents. And as I far did. as your project goal of taking the tube out, <laughs> yeah, I understand there's somebody who shall remain nameless but owns Al Marine, yeah, who also thinks it would be a great idea to put a marine in there. Yeah, I know, I know. One of the things in the 20 years that it took us to finish Marina Park and the boat launch and the Green Docks was that we kept looking at it. And in probably 17, 2017 was the last time we took a look at it. And five years earlier, we'd had a bid of $4 million. Yeah, to do the bridge. We spent a fair amount of time spending with uh, Curtis Chambers, who was the Harbor Master mm -hmm. at Sheboygan Marina at that time, and Sheboygan Marina was in the process of, first of all, I want to back up a minute, we made a guarantee to the guarantee, you know, yeah. um, <laughs> to the marina operators that we would do whatever we could when we put the boat launch in not to compete with them. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so, actually, the boat launch was designed by our three marine owners in conjunction with Marina Park. So we had their blessing through the whole thing. Yes. Um, but um, when well, you get to be 80, I'm. I you trust me. Take your time. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> um, so. That we do have the other new marina owner that you were talking about, and you were talking about he would also like it to be a marina now? 
Is that what well, you're telling let me? let me tell you, I hope he's planning on making his marine into something else because <laughs> you talk about not having access to overflow parking yes. in Marina Park. We had one experience with that. I don't know if it was last year or the year before where they were parked on both sides of Abinoy. Oh, yeah. And uh, even an emergency vehicle couldn't get through. So if he doesn't want anybody at his marina, I would invite him to uh, come chat. We'll talk about why it isn't that way. Um, it's been successful. We've had joint events, to yep. my chagrin, um, when it was used as overflow parking on weekends um, and had a, an event in Marina Park at the same time, I think yep. it was Summerfest. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Remember we make it was. work. We do. We make it work. So it was, that, there was a lot of, a lot of difficulty getting in and yes. getting out and, and people were kind of parking haphazardly, but nobody was directing them either. So, nope. eh. And we did take a look at putting parking on the other side of the Little Sturgeon River. Uh, the problem we ran, as a matter of fact, the lot that was just sold, yes. a 40 foot lot, yes. was held for all that time because we thought that might be an easy access because there were some vacant lots I don't Across. Know what the street yeah. is on the other side, but behind that, yeah. behind the yeah. Yep. property, um, and it's all wetlands. It's yeah. just all low in there. So Can't get we used. couldn't do it that way. So nope. we tried, but... I know you have. I'm just not giving up. <laughs> I'm just not giving up. I'm but just taking over the torch. <laughs> the, uh, back to Curtis Chambers. You know that that started out that... Um, Sheboygan, yep. city of Sheboygan, owned the marina. The county now owns yes. it because they couldn't keep their head above water. Correct. And one of the things that they did that we agreed with our marina operators that we wouldn't do is we wouldn't do seasonal parking. No, yeah. And so that kept the other half of the township Correct. happy, whereas way the city first of Sheboygan was successful as long as they were in running the marina, is that over half of their marina was seasonal parking. Yeah. 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 So that there are lots of things that are yes. good ideas, but there are reasons why they didn't happen. And after we went through the experience or talking to Curtis, and it was apparent that the city of Sheboygan couldn't make a goal, but we weren't sure how Tuscarora Township would make a goal. But if in fact we agreed that there would be no seasonal parking yeah. and running a marina is very expensive. It is. Oh, yeah. so, I, I, I totally agree and my take of marina park and I know you guys they wanted a full scale marina I would just like more boat slips that are open to the public to go down and park and access town. Right now with the steps being gone you could only fit two or three boats underneath the bridge and even with the new dock access that we did put in, you can really only get about six, eight boats put in there before there's no room either. After you dredge it, which it hasn't been done. It needs to be redone, I understand. But like that's my thing, is you still don't have that much room for people, because I mean, let's just face it, there's what, probably about 5,000 boats a weekend go through that river, and only room for 12 of them to park and walk up town. That's my thing. I didn't want a marina, full-scale marina, where people are coming in and leaving their boats for the year and paying for I just wanted enough slips that about 15 to 20 people could pull in, dock their boat, walk up town, get ice cream, get dinner at 310, go to here, go to there, get back on their boat, and take off for the day. I wasn't looking for a real marina. I was looking for just docking to access town. The return on investment is... Uh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I got wishful thinking and high hopes. Yeah, someday someone's just going to write me a check and say, go right ahead. <laughs> so, anybody else have anything else they'd like? Yes, sir. Back up there you can do it however you would like. Okay. <laughs> I just want to point out that um, historically there might have been an agreement with the three marina owners. Those marinas have changed hands. I know. There's no owners at all three now. I don't think they care. Oh, as far as the boat launch fees? Yeah. Yeah, no, I... Competition 
I do understand right where she's coming yeah. to, though, from too, because I live in this town and I use that boat launch all the time. I pay for my yearly fee most of the time. I cheated this mm -hmm. year. I've actually rented a slip most of the time. I actually rented a slip this year. We need a camera out there, don't we? Yeah. yeah. You should probably, no the worst offense, thing but. you need is some kind of way to take credit cards. Well, that's it. A kiosk yeah. to take credit yeah. cards, because most people just do a swipe real quick and it'll be over and done with. I totally agree. The old way that we have the system of doing it needs well, to be upgraded. Well, the number of envelopes is you, if you get, if you don't get an empty envelope, you get 16 cents. Hey. I don't care. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's not totally that they didn't agreed. try. Agreed. Agreed. Anybody else? Because with credit cards, you're going to yeah. fee yeah. too. Yep. Another good reason to raise the price. Well, that would be another reason is to help cover the cost of that machine for mm -hmm. sure. But they're actually not that expensive. I know they're that's well and like you're talking about I know how Marines and Armor Leg, but nobody really wants to use their boat launch anyways. I mean it's bad. It the really is needs to be replaced mm -hmm. really bad. Um Bird Lake Marina I know about eight boats this summer that have backed off of it and had to get picked up, trailers picked up and called back out because mm -hmm. they backed off the end of the ramp. Mm -hmm. So I know ours in town gets used a lot more, a lot more than it used to. Um, but I know like the landings, it's 10 bucks, 10 bucks in, 10 bucks out. They're not too far off from where we're at. So I just, we're kind of, I know we're on the low end and we're gonna come up, but we're gonna try and make it more advised. We'll get to it sometime before next break. Um, next meeting. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and we don't have the other two folk here. My, my thought is we should probably have a set day of the month. Yes. That would be nice. To nail yeah. this down so yep. we can all make a so plan to be here. You're busy. <laughs> the Eagles first and third Mondays. Mondays. No, well, don't, second don't, for it. Don't second go there. Fourth. Let's wait till we have all five of us here. Right. Oh, okay. Because you're, we're going to make a decision and that, that's not going to work. I mean, uh -huh. Well, that's how it goes. You know? I know how it works. Yes. Well, but, but anyway, the, the next meeting is what I was after, and I don't have it. If you're using a text chain or an email chain, put me on it. Okay, we will do. I'll get you added in there. And I haven't got much running for any of that, to be honest with you, Doug. Just, I never know. I ran into... Usually I text you I, and I, we talk. We did set it before we left last time. Yeah, we did. But it was set for six. For six. We had to move it to uh, seven. Yeah, that was what screwed me up. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, that was it. Um, two weeks, three weeks? Three would be good. What's, so, your, what's your surgery? Week from Monday. That give you enough time to recover, get back, or don't you care? I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, well, you're going to get into October for sure. Yep, I'm looking at like the 12th. October 12th. That's a Thursday. Okay. It's about three weeks out. And we don't know if anything. Have no idea what's on the board in there. Well, let's say six o'clock, and then or definitely um, six o'clock. I'll check. Tomorrow. Right, Doug, okay. six o'clock. On the twelfth. You write that down? <laughs> yep, I got that. I'll make sure I message you on the eleventh. I'll check and see if it's available. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Go down that road too far. Okay. Anything else anybody have? Can we wrap it up tonight? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Make a motion, close the meeting. Make a motion. We close the Second. meeting. All in favor? All right. All right.